In this video, I'll show you how to use the speech to text function in Filmora 12 to transcribe audio to text or subtitles for this case. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, I've got Filmora 12 open and I'll add a video to the timeline right about there. And this is a, a video that is about five minutes. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to cut that down to about a minute and then delete this so that we have uh, the file that we want uh, to be just about a minute for demonstration purposes. Next up, with our video on the timeline, there is a new icon here called speech to text that supports automatic conversion of video and audio files with audio to SRT subtitle files. That's really awesome, especially if you want to increase the engagement of your content to people who may not understand your accent or uh, maybe you wanted to have the subtitles available uh, for people to just watch and obviously the people who prefer to read. So let's click on it and it's going to pull up a dialog box and the dialog box has the speech to text parameter setting and the first option is the language of the audio to be transcribed. So if you know the language you need to select it. There is no automatic option. So at the time of recording this video 16 languages are supported. English US, English UK, all the way to Swedish. And we leave ours as English US. And then you have the option to do select the file to be transcribed or converted, clip selection or the entire timeline sequence. Depends on what you want. Maybe you have just a, a clip that you want that particular section to have the subtitles. Next up, transcriptions are automatically matched to the media. If you have this checkbox checked, if you uncheck it, the transcriptions will not be automatically matched. It's important to keep synchronization, so ensure that this box is always checked. If you're satisfied, click on OK, and then it's going to start scanning and then uploading your media so that it starts transcribing this particular video or clip or audio into text. Now, this is going to be available as subtitles, and then once it's done, uh, you'll notice that your time is going to be deducted right about here. So if you feel that you produce more content that needs subtitles, then you can make some few purchases uh, that fit your needs uh, in this case. So the transcription is almost done. It's 99%. Let's give it a couple of seconds and it's done. You'll see a new selection down here. So that looks good and you'll see that the time remaining has reduced. So if you'd like to purchase more minutes, just click on this and then you'll go to this particular option and you can choose your plan for speech to text, either the four, uh, $4.99 per month for one hour uh, speech to text transcription, five hours, 10 hours, everything else I believe is the same right about there. But that's not what we want. Let's just actually cancel this. We want to go to the speech uh, or the SRT subtitle file that has just been generated. Let's close this. You can also see that the subtitle file is going to be available right inside here. So this is what we have. And if I actually play it, can you edit a PDF file in Can You'll probably think that it's not there, but the subtitle is there. It's just that the color is white. The color is white. So what we might need to do if actually uh, hide this, you'll see the subtitle there. So what we might need to do is right click on this and then go to the advanced edit. Now, once we're inside the subtitle section, uh, you'll see that the subtitle box is going to be visible here. So what we might need to do is we might come to custom and then change the color of this first one to what we want. Let's say we want it to be maybe something like this maroon or whatever it is. And then you can come inside here, control A, and then make sure that the apply to all is selected and then click on OK. Once you click on OK, let's go back home. Let's play. Can you edit a PDF file in Canva? The simple answer is yes. And this is why. If a PDF is editable, you can edit it inside Canva. But if it is not, then that means that the owner of the PDF file has restricted editing or manipulation. So you can see that we can now see our subtitles and it's really, really awesome just going into the advanced edits and ensure that you make the edits that you want. Now, if you think the speech to text feature miss something, you can always make changes here uh, to
to your liking. Uh, it really depends on what you want. You can change a style for maybe whatever. Let's say you wanted to change a style for this. Click on that plus and this one block is going to be changed. You can see the others remain the same. As for this one, it changes. Really, really awesome. You can also go for different custom things. Uh, if you're looking for alignment for this to go up there, then this can go up there. You can actually also click on it and bring it up to where you want it to be. You can move this back and see what happens. So it's really, really awesome that you can make all these customizations right inside here. Uh, yeah, including shadows, opacities, and so on and so forth. Click OK if you're satisfied. And then you can go like somewhere right about there and then play. PDF is editable. You can edit it. You can see the way the subtitles move up uh, to where you set them inside Canva. But if it is not, then and then comes down. So it's really, really awesome. But simply that is how you can use a speech to text feature in Filmora 12 to automatically transcribe audio or video to text or subtitles for this case. Now, once you're satisfied, if you'd like to export your SRT, just right click on it and then click on export subtitle file and it's going to be saved where you want it to be. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.